However, he loved to work and earn money for his mother. When Jack worked at a neighboring farm, he earned ten pennies. He held the money from his hand and began crossing a brook to get home. Penny slipped from his hand and sank. When his mother found out, she said, Silly boy, you should have kept them in your pocket the next day. Jack worked for the milkman. The payment was milk. Remembering what his mother had told him, Jack now kept the milk in his pocket. Once again, foolish Jack behaved foolishly and lost what he had earned. The Greedy Mouse Once, a mouse had nothing to eat for a couple of days. Tired and hungry, he came upon a large basket full of corn. But how do I get inside this basket? He wondered. Just then, he saw a hole in the basket big enough to let him through. Ow. He stayed inside the basket for many weeks, eating to his heart content. Finally tired of eating just corn, he decided to get out. But now he had grown too fat and couldn't fit through the hole. The poor greedy mouse had to wait till he was thin again before he could come out. The Choosy the Frog! Tired of escaping, naughty boys who were chasing them in the city park, Choosy the Frogs decided to travel to the countryside. Once outside the city, they came to a lake. One frog climbed on top of the other and saw the lake stretched still as far as it could see. This is the right place for us, it said. We have lots of adventures here, said the other frog. That was when a huge snake came toward with its jaws wide open. Oh no, this is too much for an adventure. Escaping the boys is better than escaping the snake, they said and leaped their way back to the city. The good fox! Edward's father died when Edward was 15 years old. Edward was left with a small cottage and a pear tree which bore pears all the year round. On most days, Edward would eat these pears and satisfy his hunger. One day, a fox came to Edward's cottage and said, Your father helped me once. Give me a basket full of pears and I will help you. Surprised at the fox's words, Edward did as he was told. The fox carried the basket of pears of two seeking. What fine pears, said the king. I must reward the man who grows these pears. Edward was rewarded handsomely and became rich. The clever goat! Once, a farmer saw some wild goats grazing along his own goat. He thought, if I can make these goats join my herd, then my herd will be larger. So he said to the wild goats, if you come with me, I will throw you a big feast tonight. The wild goats agreed to go with him. That night, in the barn, the farmer fed the wild goats very well but gave very little food to his own goats. The next morning, when the farmer opened his barn, the wild goats rushed out shouting, We saw what you feed your goats! If we stay with you, we too will starve! Never annoy a witch! Once upon a time, in a village, there was a thief whom no one could catch. He was so fearless, he even stole Sophus from Martha's house. Now Martha was the village witch. Quite annoyed with the thief, she set a trap. She kept a potion by the window. The next time the thief 
put his hand through the window to grab more toffees, the potion fell all over him and he turned into an ant. Martha exclaimed, Ha! This is why you should never annoy a witch! Some people believe that since the ants have been looking for the magic potion to turn the thief back into a human being. The Foolish Frog! Finch, the frog, thought that the snail, the beaver, was very handsome. Whenever Basil passed by Finch friends, he wait and watch. One day, I will be just as handsome. Finch then began eating as many insects as he could to get fatter. Then one day, he called on his friend Rigus and asked him, Well, do I look like Basil now? Rigus replied, No, you only look fat. Finch ignored Rigus. Words and kept eating more soon became so fat that he rolled away and fell into the stream with a big splash. All the other frogs had a hearty laugh. How stars came to be Once upon a time, the sun was married to the moon. Soon, the moon was about to have a baby. The sun was happy and said to his wife, I want a boy. If it's a girl, we will send her to stay with my sister. A few months later, a baby girl was born. The moon was sad because the baby would be sent away. So, she hid the baby in a box. One night, a naughty gnome found the box and threw it up. The box opened up and the baby turned into a million sparkling stars, decorating the sky. Why dogs wag their tails? Once upon a time, a man lived with a cat and a dog. One day, he had to send a magic ring to his daughter. So he sent his pets with instructions. Be very careful. Don't lose this ring. The animals set out to the daughter's house. On the way, while crossing a river, the dog lost the ring. So it ran away, fearing his master's anger. Since then, the master has been looking for the dog. He asks all the dogs he meets, Are you my dog who lost the ring? And they all wag their tail to say, No! How the sky went up! A long time ago, the sky was so low that people had to crawl in order to move from one place to another. One day, an old woman was pounding rice and she said to herself, Oh, how tiring it is to sit and pound rice. It would be so much easier if I could stand up to join. So, she screamed at the sky. Move up, you wolf! To her surprise, the sky inched up. The woman kept ordering the sky to move even higher up. So it stood where it stands now. From then on, people could walk freely under the sky.